The earth takes 24 hours, that is, one day to complete one rotation. We consider the direction where the sun rises to be the east. Thus, the earth rotates from west to east. As a result, we experience sunrise, noon, sunset and midnight. During rotation, the longitudes in the western part face the sun gradually while those in the east experience darkness. The longitude which faces the sun experiences sunrise while on the other hand, the one in the darkness experiences sunset. While traveling in a bus, we often see trees, electric poles, buildings, etc. outside the window. They appear to be moving in the opposite direction. Actually, they are stationary and our bus is moving forward. Similarly, because of the rotation of the earth, we feel that the sun is changing its position from east to west daily. Geographical Explanation You would have realized by observation that the shadows in the early morning and evening were the longest, while those at the noon were the shortest. Because of the change in the apparent location of the sun in the sky, the length and direction of the shadow of the pole kept changing. This is because a specific part of the earth faces the sun during rotation and moves forward. Incidentally, we also experience that it is cooler in the morning and evening and warmer in the afternoon. Local Time As soon as the sun starts moving up in the sky after sunrise, the length of our shadow reduces. Normally, the length of the shadow is shortest at noon. As the sun moves towards the horizon in the afternoon, the length of our shadow increases again by evening. The noon time is the same at any given longitude across the earth, that is, from the North Pole to the South Pole. The time of a place as decided by the location of the sun in the sky is known as its local time. In the regions lying in between the polar circles and the poles, the daytime could be more than 24 hours depending upon the season. As a result, understanding the timings of sunrise, noon, sunset and midnight at these places becomes important. At the poles, the daytime and the duration of the day lasts around 6 months. To tell the time of sunrise or sunset at the poles, one has to consider the date. When the sun rises on a specific day, it moves around the horizon and therefore, here, the length of the shadow cannot be considered for telling the noon time. Different longitudes have different timing for sunrise, noon and sunset. When it is noon at Mumbai, it wouldn't be the same at Kolkata. Because Kolkata lies to the east of Mumbai, it would already be afternoon in Kolkata. The local time of a place on the Earth's surface is determined with reference to its noon time. This implies that places lying on the same longitude have the same local time. There is no difficulty when local time is used for a small area. When people living in a larger area across different longitudes have to interact with each other, then using the local time could lead to chaos and confusion. In such cases, using the local time is not convenient. Universal Standard Time For an international coordination between countries, the local time at Greenwich, in England, that is the Greenwich Mean Time, is considered to be the international standard time. The difference in standard times of various countries is calculated with reference to GMT. The Indian Standard Time is 5 hours 30 minutes ahead of GMT. If it is 5 pm at Greenwich, then in India, it would be 10.30 pm. Do you know Jantar Mantar, Astronomical Observatories? Maharaja Sawai Jai Singh II, the King of Jaipur, Rajasthan, was a great astronomer, mathematician and architect. He built five astronomical observatories called Jantar Mantar at Ujjain, Varanasi, Jaipur, Delhi and Mathura. 
The one at Mathura doesn't exist today, but one can visit the other four. Even today, one can know the exact time up to seconds through shadows. Jantar Mantar does not only house sundials, but they are complete astronomical observatories. One can observe the sky from here too. With the help of instruments at Jantar Mantar, it is still possible to see astronomical observations. After the advent of modern instruments, now these instruments are more of a cultural heritage. Geographical Explanation We get up early in the morning, brush our teeth and take a bath. Then we have breakfast and go to school. We study in our classrooms. We return home. We go to the playground to play in the evening. We have dinner, brush our teeth and go to sleep. We keep doing similar activities throughout the day. Considering our daily routine, we need to decide the time for all our activities. In olden days, people used to take the help of various tools and also depend on various natural events for the measurement of time. On the basis of observation and experience, they divided the day into the following parts. From sunrise to sunset, daytime and from sunset to the next sunrise, nighttime. A whole day meant the duration from one sunrise to the next. Earlier, natural events and instruments like Ghatika Patra, that is a bowl with a minute hole at its base which should float in a large water-filled vessel, sand timer, etc. were used to tell time. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें ऐसे ही और एजुकेशनल वीडियोस देखने के लिए हमारे चैनल होम रिवाइज को सब्सक्राइब करें